Have you ever wondered if the Illuminati, the secret society that's the stuff of legends, actually exists? This question has sparked intrigue in the imaginations of many, from historians to conspiracy theorists and everyone in between. The Illuminati, shrouded in mystery and secrecy, has been the subject of countless books, films and even music videos. Its allure lies in its enigmatic nature, and the allure is irresistible. But let's take a step back. What is the Illuminati? The term Illuminati is derived from the Latin word Illuminatus, meaning enlightened. The society was born in the late 18th century in Bavaria, an area in modern-day Germany. Its goal was to oppose religious influence over public life, prevent abuses of state power, and support women's education. However, the society was suppressed by the Bavarian government just a few years after its creation. Despite its short-lived existence, the Illuminati left a long-lasting impression, becoming a popular trope in conspiracy theories that allege the group is still operating and manipulating world events from the shadows. In popular culture, the Illuminati often appears as a shadowy and powerful organization with a global reach. Its members are portrayed as the puppet masters of the world, pulling the strings behind the scenes. They are the unseen, the untouchable, and the uncatchable. One notable exploration of the Illuminati in literature is Dan Brown's novel, Angels and Demons. Brown weaves a thrilling narrative around the Illuminati, blending fact and fiction to create a story that is as captivating as it is thought-provoking. In his book, the Illuminati is not just a secret society, but a group with a deadly agenda, leaving a trail of symbols and clues that lead to an unimaginable discovery. So, let's return to our initial question. But what if the Illuminati was not just a myth? What if it was real and had a deadly agenda? As we delve deeper into the world of angels and demons, we may find ourselves questioning what we thought we knew about this legendary secret society. Angels and Demons thrusts us into the world of Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon, who's called to the Swiss research facility CERN to investigate a peculiar crime. Our protagonist, Robert Langdon, is not your typical detective. As a Harvard symbologist, he deciphers the world through symbols and codes, and it's these unique skills that bring him to the heart of a mystery that spans centuries. The plot of Angels and Demons is a complex and thrilling ride, intricately woven with threads of history, art, science and religion. At the centre of this web is the legendary secret society, the Illuminati. Once thought to be extinct, evidence of their existence has resurfaced in the most unlikely of places, a high-tech particle physics lab in Switzerland. A physicist at CERN has been brutally murdered, an ancient symbol seared onto his chest pointing to the resurgence of the Illuminati. Even more alarming, a canister containing antimatter, a substance with destructive potential beyond comprehension, has been stolen. This sets the stage for a deadly game of cat and mouse, as Langdon is thrust into a quest that will take him to the heart of the Catholic Church, the Vatican City. The stakes could not be higher as Langdon races against time, deciphering clues steeped in religious iconography and hidden within some of the most famous works of art. The Illuminati's age-old vendetta against the Church is reaching its climax, and the Vatican City stands on the brink of annihilation. Dan Brown masterfully blends fact and fiction, creating a world where the past and the present collide, and nothing is as it seems. He invites us into a realm where science and religion coexist, challenging our perceptions and pushing us to question the world around us. In a race against time, Langdon must unravel the secrets of the Illuminati and stop a threat that could destroy the Vatican City. Angels and Demons is a testament to the power of storytelling, offering a thrilling journey that captivates from the first page to the last. One of the most captivating aspects of Angels and Demons is Dan Brown's ability to weave intricate narratives that are both intellectually stimulating and heart-pounding. There's something about the way Brown writes that keeps us engrossed. His style is fluid, yet filled with depth. He doesn't just tell a story, he takes us on a journey through the labyrinth of history and science, painting vivid pictures with his words. He has a unique knack for combining real historical and scientific facts with fiction, resulting in a narrative that's as educational as it is entertaining. 
Take, for instance, the way he delves into the mysterious world of the Illuminati. He does so in a way that is both fascinating and thought-provoking, using historical facts and symbols to create a world that seems almost tangible. Through his writing, he gives life to the past, making it relevant and interesting in the present context. Then there are his characters, complex yet relatable, they are the heart and soul of his narratives. Each character is intricately developed, with their own strengths, weaknesses and quirks. They're not just characters, they're people with their own stories, struggles and triumphs. This makes it easy for readers to connect with them, to feel their joys and sorrows, and to root for them in their endeavors. And let's not forget the themes that run through the book. Questions about faith, science and power are brought to the forefront, forcing readers to ponder and question their own beliefs. Brown doesn't shy away from tackling these complex issues. Instead, he uses them to fuel the narrative, adding depth and substance to the story. In the end, it's not just about the plot or the characters. It's about the journey, the learning and the questions that the book raises. It's about the art of storytelling that Brown so masterfully demonstrates. Dan Brown has a knack for turning the complex world of symbols and history into a thrilling narrative that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. Since its publication, Angels and Demons has left a lasting impact on readers and has significantly influenced the thriller genre. This book, penned by the brilliant Dan Brown, has not only held its place as a bestseller, but has also morphed into a major Hollywood film, further magnifying its impact. The success of Angels and Demons is truly phenomenal. It has sold millions of copies worldwide, and its popularity has transcended borders and cultures. The book's transformation into a Hollywood film, starring none other than the charismatic Tom Hanks, has further amplified its reach, bringing the thrilling tale of Robert Langdon to the silver screen and captivating a broader audience. Yet, the impact of Angels and Demons extends beyond the realm of literature and cinema. It has significantly shaped the popular perceptions of the Illuminati and the Catholic Church. Brown's vivid depiction of the Illuminati, a secret society that has been the subject of countless conspiracy theories, has intrigued readers and prompted them to delve deeper into the mysteries of this elusive organization. The book's portrayal of the Catholic Church, on the other hand, has sparked debates and discussions, pushing readers to question and explore the intricate relationship between faith, science and power. Furthermore, Angels and Demons has inspired a new wave of thriller novels, with authors worldwide drawing inspiration from Brown's intricate plot lines and the suspenseful narrative. The book's success has undeniably raised the bar for the thriller genre, setting a new standard for suspense and intrigue. In essence, Angels and Demons is a cultural phenomenon. Its influence is seen not only in the world of literature and cinema, but also in how it has shaped the discourse around religion, science and secret societies. The book's ability to captivate audiences, spark debates and inspire other works is a testament to its enduring appeal. Angels and Demons is more than just a novel, it's a cultural phenomenon that continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Angels and Demons is a book that has personally left me both thrilled and intrigued. It's a narrative that winds its way through the labyrinth of human history, interweaving fact and fiction, until it's difficult to tell where one ends and the other begins. The thrill of this book isn't just about the suspenseful plot, although that certainly kept me turning the pages late into the night. It's also about the thought-provoking themes that are woven into the fabric of the story. Questions about faith, science, power and truth are all explored in a way that is both engaging and challenging. It's a book that doesn't shy away from the big questions, but rather it dives headfirst into them. What I most enjoyed about Angels and Demons, though, were the memorable characters. Robert Langdon, with his sharp intellect and everyman charm, is a protagonist who is easy to root for. The supporting cast, too, is filled with richly drawn characters who each bring their own unique perspective to the story. But what makes this book truly stand out is the way it blends historical fact with fiction. The Illuminati, the Vatican, ancient symbols, these are all elements grounded in reality, and yet they're used to construct a narrative that is nothing short of fantastical. It's a style that Dan Brown has mastered, and it's one of the reasons why his books are so captivating. 
So, would I recommend Angels and Demons? Absolutely. It's a book that offers a thrilling ride into the world of secret societies and dangerous conspiracies. It's a book that will make you question the nature of truth, the power of faith, and the very fabric of reality. In conclusion, Angels and Demons is a masterful blend of historical fact and fiction that offers a thrilling ride into the world of secret societies, ancient symbols, and dangerous conspiracies. It's a book that will leave you questioning the very fabric of reality.